Songwriter Kelly Lang is kicking things off for us. Boy, she has had ups, she has had some downs, and she had a real battle with breast cancer years ago. She details so many stories in her new autobiography. It is called I'm Not Going Anywhere. And we had a great chat about her journey and her healing and what she wants to share. Okay, show off your book, first of all. Oh, it's incredible. This is my book, I'm Not Going Anywhere. And I'm really grateful that on the bottom, you can see there's a foreword written by Dame Olivia Newton-John. She and I are breast cancer thrivers together and have a lot in common. So she was willing to help me do that. And it's, it's just a lovely little part of the book. So I'm excited about that. You've made this connection with Olivia Newton-John that I suspect happened when you guys turned into thrivers together, kind of after the fact. So you have this book for if people get it, to kind of walk, help walk them through? Actually, it was, um, I had met her through a mutual friend, Sir Barry Gibb. And I'd met her actually when I was a little girl, but you know, we didn't connect at the time. But through Barry, we had a personal opportunity to have a talk, you know, communicate about our experiences with breast cancer. And a funny thing is I told her that I had dropped out of chemo early. I just, it wasn't for me. One of these things that they were trying to offer me, I was like, ugh. And she started singing to Greece, chemo dropout. <laughs> oh was, my gosh, what is your life? <laughs> I know, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. So I write a little bit about our, our friendship in the book and, and uh, it's it's just, just so much fun. There's good things in the book about um, teaching people how to get through really tough times mm -hmm. and examples of what I did to get through those tough times with a positive attitude and gratitude. And I learned a lot of those things from Olivia, obviously. And um, there's some some great music stories in there that people might have never heard. And it's it's just kind of a roller coaster for everybody that's reading it. OK, and your book is like no other really that I've seen as you've incorporated video elements into a book. How does that work? OK, so during the pandemic, we all went to restaurants and we all had to use the telephones to use QR codes. So I took that idea and I put QR codes after every chapter you use your camera, you just scan the code and it takes you to a video relating to what chapter you just read. So for instance, that one there will take you to uh, when I was on Star Search when I was 18 years old, you can go back and see me at 18 singing us. I, I had no idea what I was doing, but I had a lot of excitement <laughs> to be on that stage. But it's fun because I'm a visual person. I have a lot of photos in the book. And I thought, I've got some videos to back this stuff up. And I just wanted the reader to have, go on a journey with me and feel like they knew me personally by the end of it. And so far, so good. I'm really excited that I was able to take it off of the print and be able to be you know, a visual for somebody reading it. Okay, and we get to be treated to your performance. That's coming up later on in the show and today in Nashville. So good to see you. We'll see you around town. Thank you, Carol. You too. Talk to you soon. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. You're watching today in Nashville.